What's up guys, it's Zach, and today I am bringing you New England Patriots record prediction. Hope everyone's having an amazing day so far. Patriots are going to be battling for the number one pick, so let's take a look at the schedule. Starting things off with week one against the Cincinnati Bengals at their stadium. Um, Joe Burrow is probably going to go for 70 points here on the Patriots' lackluster defense. Give me the Bengals over the Patriots here in week one. Week two. They got the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, this is actually going to probably be a, a low-key close game, but I still think the Seahawks will end up winning by 7, uh, probably like 17 to 10. Um, that's even if the Patriots can stop anybody. It's just more of not knowing what's going on at quarterback. And then on the short week, they get Aaron Rodgers at MetLife Stadium. Uh, if Aaron Rodgers plays a whole season, he might score 100 points combined against the Patriots. So, yeah, give me the Jets here. Um... It should be a relatively easy win for the Jets because I don't think their Patriots are going to score over double-digit points. Week 4, you got the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, this could be the upset of the year if the Patriots find a way to pull this one off, but I have not seen anything to think that. So give me the 49ers beating the Patriots as the Patriots now are starting 0-4, but they go to host the Miami Dolphins in Week five could this be their chance to get their first win of the season unlikely uh because it's still in october that's before the dolphins usually start to have their mid-season crisis so i think the dolphins will take care of business against the patriots week six you got the houston texans um again dude cj Stroud. Like, everyone might have their career game against the patriots this year uh yeah texans should take care of business i'm gonna go like 40 to 3 final score their defense is going to be unbelievable this year and the, the texans that is if because if they have a top 10 defense alongside their top 10 offense they could be a favorite to win the super bowl week seven you got the jacksonville Jaguars. this could be potentially their first win of the season going against the jaguars but unfortunately joshua allen's gonna sack drake may probably four times and they're going to win a nail biter like 13 to 12 final score give me the jaguars week eight you got the new york jets once again getting both of those matchups out of the way very early in the season give me aaron Rodgers again over the patriots man patriots have not had an easy schedule at all but they're also not a good football team in any regard as they start out 0 and 8 but here we go again at nissan stadium they travel all the way to tennessee to take on the titans and the patriots will get a win over the tennessee titans with their being their first win of the season in nine tries so they are now officially one and eight congratulations congratulations patriots you guys are not going to be going 0 and 17 not at least i hope not week 10 they got the chicago bears at soldier field uh this could be where all bears fans get really hyped when caleb williams has a big game but then they forget that they're playing the Patriots, a, a Division Three football team. Give me the Bears over the Patriots here. Week 11, they're hosting the Los Angeles Rams. Dude, what is going on with my English today? Uh, Matthew Stafford is going to go for 70 points, I think. Uh, Cooper Cup, 200 yards. Puka Nakua, 150 yards, two touchdowns. Give me the Rams over the Patriots here. Week 12, they get the Miami Dolphins, uh, their second and final meeting of the season, since Patriots won't be joining uh, the playoffs anytime soon. Give you the Dolphins, again, taking down the Patriots. And then week 13, right before the bye week, they get the Indianapolis Colts. This has upside poten or upset potential if the Colts decide to just forget how to play football for a week. But I don't see that happening. Give me Anthony Richardson and the Colts. So heading into the week 14 by the by the Patriots going 1-12. and 12. Guys, Patriots are not good. I mean, I'm, you have to be optimistic about some teams. But I, I, there's really nothing to look forward to. Except in week 15 against the Arizona Cardinals. Um, this could be a Marvin Harrison Jr. Masterclass. But I believe in the New England Patriots getting their second win of the season right here. Absolutely. Get the job done, Drake May and uh, Ramondre Stevenson. Give me the Patriots. Uh, week 16, they get the Buffalo Bills. Wait, they have Bills two of the last three weeks of the season. That's going to be a tough scene for Patriots fans. Uh, yeah, give me the Bills at home. they easily going to take care of business there. Week 17, they got the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, Chargers, I believe, won't even be playing for uh, playoff contention at this point. But if they are, 
They're definitely going to be trying hard in this one. So give me the Chargers. And then week 18 against the Bills back up as their Bills are probably going to be locked in as the 5 or 6 seed already. Give me the Bills taking care of the Patriots. So yes, Patriots fans, this is not your year. But as long as you have promise out of your young quarterback and maybe some defensive uh, rookies and younger players start to step up, maybe you guys have a bright future. Have you guys finishing 2-15 and 15 with the first overall pick. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Unless you're a Patriots fan, I'm sorry. Do not dislike the video. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. I'm that's been Zach. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.